we're working on the fall Dreamcatcher workshop for adults and we're going to be learning how to make this if you like what you see and you have the kit from the south side stay tuned to make it okay so to start we're going to use our lace doily and the gold hoop as well as some string and scissors so basically what we're going to be doing is tying little knots around the points of each of the doily ends so there's seven on each doily and so you're just going to take your string whatever string you have you're going to find an opening on the point thread it through it doesn't have to be perfect and then just make a knot at the end so like that you can see I'm going to make a little knot like so you could double knot that if you want basically so it's just going to be hanging like that and you're going to do that for each point okay so as you can see i left about three to four inches of thread at the end of each point um so right now i'm just going to cut off the little end just the little slack at the end of the knot here so you can cut all of those around and you're still going to leave this three to four inch piece out because we're going to be using that later but basically just trim up the sides and then we'll move on to placing it in the middle of the hoop. All right, so now that all of the little excess ends are cut off with including the three inches left on, we are going to take our hoop, place it in the middle and try and um, centralize the lace as much as possible. You know, there's not much room to mess up here, but just in case. So basically you're going to take one of the ends, start at one end, Take the thread and you're going to make a knot from here around the gold hoop and I'll show you how in a second. Basically however you're comfortable making these knots is good. I'm starting with a strange um, knot and then I'm just going to be knotting that again and double knotting it. If you feel more secure by um, using some hot glue at the end you can totally do that too. You can also use E6000, or if you have fabric glue, that'll be helpful as well. So you can see I did kind of like a friendship bracelet kind of knot, um, and that'll secure that. And you're just going to go around and make knots all around. Okay, so all of my ends are complete now. Um, it is fully attached. If you would like, you could make more knots and string um, and just hold the middle of each ends. But I'm going to leave mine as is, and now I'm just going to cut off the excess string to make it look like this at the end. Now that all of the knots are finished and tied off and snipped in the proper places, we're going to add our ribbon to the bottom part of the dream catcher. And it's important to make sure that you're only doing it in a certain section. You don't want them all the way around um, because you're going to need to hang it up from one side. So we'll start on the bottom. Um, these are the ribbons that were included in the kit, and you're going to need to add some of your own. So you're going to take your ribbon, and I'm going to do it starting in the middle. I'm going to cut a piece about 9 inches long, and this is the ribbon that I have provided for my own kit. Uh, like I said, you're going to need to provide ribbon for your own, from your own stash, or however you want this to look. So I'm cutting mine, like I said, about 9 inches. And this is just a velvet piece that would be a cute color so you're going to push it through like that and tie it off and you could do whatever knot you are best with I'm um, just gonna do a basic knot and then so basically it's gonna look like that and you're gonna keep going around I would say the bottom maybe third from one thumb to the other. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I finished off the ribbons that are coming down. And this is what the bottom looks like. Um, I'm just gonna trim a little bit of this off. And then I added the top part so it can hang off of. Uh, but otherwise it's done. Um, if yours looks a little more together at the bottom, you can always cut it at the end so it's angled like a triangle on both sides but I kind of like the way mine is um, and that's the end hopefully you guys like it and happy fall